After a patient has submitted their appointment booking request through the online appointment website, you can see that the slot has been booked back in Kroll and it displays the patient's name and the service that they've selected. For same day future appointments, there will be a number icon on the calendar tile to indicate how many upcoming appointments you have scheduled for that day. Although the patient may have booked their appointment online, the appointment still needs to be completed from within Kroll. The ADT wizard, which stands for Admission, Discharge and Transfer, works as a data transfer into your database. All of the information the patient entered while booking their appointment can now be transferred into a patient profile. This is a required step for appointments booked online. For the ADT step, you can call up the appointment and do it from within the appointment details by clicking on the Launch ADT button beside the patient's name. However, instead of going to every individual appointment to check to see if the step has been completed, you can choose to go to the F9 Workflow button at the top of your scroll session and select the ADT menu option on the right hand side column to view all of the appointments that still need the ADT step to be completed. This queue should be checked multiple times throughout the day to ensure that appointments are completed prior to the patient coming to the pharmacy. If there are no items in the queue, it means that all of the items have been processed. This step is especially required before the pre-screening questionnaire can be sent to the patient and the professional service can be launched from the appointment. It also allows you to confirm patient eligibility and create a patient profile easily instead of when the patient first comes in for their appointment. Select F to process the item or double click. In the ADT wizard window that pops up, all of the patient's information will be available on the left hand side. On the right side, Kroll will provide a number of potential patients that may match the patient's information. If none are found, you can select search. This will bring up the patient search screen. From here, if the patient is still not found, you can choose to insert and create a new patient's profile. All of the patient's information will be automatically transferred into the new profile. Next, the ADT wizard will prompt you to update information provided by the patient, such as email or phone number. And using the arrows beside each field, you can decide which fields you want to update. Once this is done, Kroll will have the patient profile to be able to create an immunization record to send a pre-screening questionnaire. If you ever need to cancel a booked appointment, you can right click on the booked appointment or open it up. From here, you can cancel the appointment. When canceling an appointment, a confirmation email and SMS text, if applicable, will be sent to the patient. This is the same as if the patient had canceled it themselves. When the appointment is canceled, the slot then becomes available for other patients to book. If you do not want the slot to be available anymore, delete the unreserved slot as well. If you need to reschedule an appointment, you can call up the appointment to make adjustments to the date and time as needed, or you can click, hold, and drag the appointment to a different slot in your appointment calendar. When doing this, the patient will receive a communication to let them know that their appointment has been changed. As mentioned in a previous video, you may wish to put a disclaimer on whichever platform you're sharing your link to warn patients that if they do not qualify for immunization at this time, their appointment may be canceled or rescheduled. For appointments that you add into your Kroll calendar directly, you can also send those patients confirmation, reminders, and change notification emails or SMS texts by flagging on send notifications to patient 
and entering a method of how to send them. Appointments booked this way will not allow patients to manage their appointment or fill out a pre-screening questionnaire online. The following are the different communications patients can receive related to their appointment booking. Confirmation that their appointment has been booked, rescheduled appointment or change when the appointment is moved in the Kroll calendar, cancellation, whether done by the patient or the pharmacy, a pre-screening questionnaire notification that will inform the patient that the questionnaire is available, and two reminders regarding their appointment. One by default is set to one hour before the appointment, and another is 24 hours before the appointment. 